ongoing, then those are just the things I know about. Boom, you've got, uh, we, no matter what, we've got to get busy with the code enforcement piece because the backlog blew back on Captain Flag. Captain Flag brought to the administrator a file this thick with pictures of stuff that they were get, having to deal with because we weren't. And even after bringing it to our attention, it was never dealt with or taken seriously. So, and, and I kind of look at it, all right, we could send a letter of violation, but part of getting compliance is steady pressure of, hey, you know, we've talked to you about this. Right. Agree. Agree. And also, if somebody thinks, oh, I'm going to get a letter and nobody's going to knock on my door, yes. they're going to blow it off. But versus you got somebody who's aggressively leaving their car and saying, hey, we got to get to, we got to deal with this or we're going to the next step. Um, some will, some won't. And um, I think we just need to push a little harder and there's just, there's not enough uh, compliance. And I think uh, a lot of people have taken the attitude that they can get away with whatever they want. And I agree with that assessment. <clears throat> it might be hard to get somebody to tell me to hire for the time, though. For a period of time, you're not going to part time. Well, I mean, you can look at it the other way. If they want to work part time and they know that it, if they just do it full time for a little while, um, I mean, I'm just kind of like pulling out the ideas, but you know, I, I thought that the last couple of people were part time. So I thought that more people would want to do part time if they started out full time and then went backwards. When I came in, we had a, part, a full time person working both law enforcement and zone. Full time. And he did both. Yeah. And then we didn't have any for a while. And then we got part time zoning. Uh, yeah. And then we moved one part one position that was called enforcement. So. Um, well, both those, both those paid out the general fund? So the zoning, the, the, the full time person? Mm -hmm. I mean, because we still have like. To demo properties that need address and yes, a lot of those. All the stuff that needs but that's know. a zoning issue. Not, I mean, code enforcement is patrolling its letters, its follow up. Zoning is going to be pole barns, fences, CDBG. Right. So um, it's a different animal. Now, when Mr. Callaghan worked it, he, you know, he's done it. He says, "I'm willing to work for you." But he was only interested in the stuff where you gotta really apply your brain and apply the project against the code and build the approvals that way. So that was he didn't want to deal because it's in some ways the job of code enforcement is like a bill collector. You know. Because right. basically we gotta go out and tell people how to live. Well, the, um, well but but John John didn't do he was zoning, he wasn't doing it. Well, but no, when we, we had this issue, when the, at the time that we were talking to him, and he said he was absolutely not touched by right. peace. Right, I understand. He that. would yeah. help us. Yes. The one thing that he did is he helped get the zoning records in order, which were, he got us organized and mm -hmm. got that office flown and been pretty neglected. So that was good. But he wanted to move paper and permits not deal with the public. So, well, okay. They also yeah. have retired from a job doing that. Correct. Yes, you so. did. But was it, it was takes, uh, code enforcement it takes a peculiar kind of individual to be a, you know, an ex-police officer or something. Because you're going to have to, you, you knock on somebody's door, they're going to be mad at you. Yeah, and there's, it a takes, lot, yeah. there's a lot to that. So the one that, that, that you have right there, is that, that's part-time? Correct. This, okay. All I did was pull up what we had in, in the files, 
okay. and change the dates. I didn't. Oh, you know, okay. I mean, I mean okay. it's, much, it's what we've had on what we've been using. Correct. Um, it's something to think about. I mean, uh, we've point. tried a couple. Well, we more. could we could advertise it as part time or yes. full time. Seems our responsibility. Yes. That makes it. You know, take that, it. take that, take that, and in the, in the, in the description of this job before we post it, hours work, part time or full time. Right. You know, and see you, and then you know, as you're doing the interview process, you talk to people who wants what? Good idea. How about that, Jim? Let's see, Let's see what kind of applications we get. Okay, so administration, we're doing the township one, and you want to change that. On this one, we're going to change it to part time or full time. I mean, I would advertise the jobs separately, and... Oh, I would too. I must have, yeah, uh, so zoning, because since we're talking about that, they do zoning next, and it's part time. Uh, and looking at the old files, this one has been updated, has a lot more to it, has been, it has been updated at some point in time more recently, at least, at least it appeared to than the uh, code. Um, but there again, if somebody was just doing zoning, I think that could say we still would maintain, remain a part time job myself. But I'm open for suggestions and conversation. I don't see why we don't do the same thing. I mean, that was part time, full time. That was, I mean, that, was there. that was working so. well for that was working well for Justin, but he also inherited. Seven months back, off the end, they got on. Correct, correct, right. right. Okay, so do the same thing with this one, then, Jim. Uh, Sheila uh, suggested you post this the way it is and just do the same thing and advertise it part and full and see how responsive you That way you're uh, flexible. Just depends on how many people want that kind of job or out there. That's true too. Okay, the next one uh, I titled Road and Cemetery Super Supervisor. That'd be a, that's a full time position. Does it a chance to look at that one? I did. <coughs> did it? Yeah, just. To me, it looks fine. Just have to come up with a uh, is it starting solid or paper? What it I don't know. Where's Barry on this? It's not. That's what I said. We had we had. I don't think it's on there. It's the pay rate compensation is it's left over. This position is not exempt position. If the rate of composition is set by the board of trustees. We can change that and put a number in there. Right. Because that was the first thing that um, the Urban League adds when um, I told them that we were looking for a road center supervisor at least the, the um, work hours and the hours are in here, right? Were the hours in here? I don't think it was. All right, you did the budget for road. What, how, what, what's the staffing model? How many headcount are you going to staff roads with? along with this supervisor. So what's the total headcount? Three. Including the supervisor? Or yes. Not? Yes. 
So supervisor. Well, no, no, well, you're asking the part time or full time. You get the road super, one more part time. Excuse me, the road super, another full time, and then several part time as needed. Super two forty some hours, and then how many? How many? How many uh, part timers do you think? <coughs> How many do we have right now with all the, I mean, I'm not current on where we're at on two total staff. We're down to two. Yeah, so it has the hours. Okay. And now we will do what we need to talk about. We need to talk about uh, What's the salary? pay, rate compensation. Um, what was the previous road? Uh, who was the last supervisor? Steve Wolf. Oh, well, who was the one before that? Villas. So what was he paid? Well, I was about to say that. So you that uh, well, issue, well, yeah, yeah, right now, but I'm not really saying that. Uh, that. So, I see we started at 35 plus, depending, 35 and up, depending on your qualifications. I like that. Okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think it's I mean, because there's a, uh, in, in that job description, they have to have uh, uh, know how to repair, uh, they have, in the certifications they have to have. They have to have their uh, CDLs. Um, it's something else in there that um, constitutes them at least starting at 35. 35 an hour or 35 a year? 35, 35, an hour. 35 a year. 35 a year. Okay. Because that's the low end. Yeah, it's starting. That's the low end. Because, like I said, there's a, a lot of uh, things that we're looking for in that supervisor. Well, I mean, okay, this brings up the question of how much road work are we going to actually do in house? And this is what's feeding into my question on this, okay? Because by my best assessment of how the road department's operated the last several years, Three of those days are consumed with mowing, nuisance mowing, and taking care of our buildings and cemeteries. Okay? So, Justine McLaughlin has been pitching that we're going to do more in the house. That's correct. There's also a lot of pressure to do the little projects. So, There's only so many hours we're going to be able to get out of staff without I think you're adding high. more staff. Uh, you're high on, okay, so you're high on your three days, take three days to do nuisance properties, though, too. Because in times past, I'll just say in times past, it's been done with less than three days. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of details in this meeting, but uh, more can be done. It can be done faster than three days. I think we just, for me personally, I think we need to start having a list and come up with, with uh -huh. like a plan for what the workers need to do. So when they come into work, they already know this is on your list to do today. And that's common. They okay, say, so well, you work, don't you know what you have to do? I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. And, 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 and they need a little more. And that's why we need to hire a super. That's why we need some direction. And then, then for those instances uh, when we're doing work in-house, we plan for that as well. If we want to go and, and fill potholes or whatever, it's planned out already. That way you can go back as a trustee and clearly see that this work has been done. Because I know at one, one meeting um, there was some work that was done on a road. Nobody could figure out what was done on that road after it had been driven over. Nobody knew what was done on it. Right. So this way you can at least go back and check back to make sure that uh, the work well, is being done. When I was over roads, you just want a detailed report all the time. We don't, 
since the wolf took over, that hasn't been done since. But when I was at LaRoche, you wanted to report every 15 minutes what the employees were doing. It's not true. It is. But with some of the reporting I got on the road department, that's how I come come up with what they're getting done. Because, all right, the other way you can look at it, all right, you got to, if most of their work is just mowing and not road construction, and we need less of a supervisor to run these guys. So if you want, because also if you got employees that are fully trained to do road construction, they're going to exceed the money thresholds that you've got plugged in for those jobs. So. Well, I, I suggest, I mean, um, <clears throat> that because we were running short on time, we need to, we got several things that we need to go over. Um, so for the road department supervisor, I'm okay with the way it's written up. I'm okay start. with the 35 uh, start. Okay, so we'll vote on that. Because that has to be posted. Because yes, um, uh, uh, that has to be posted. Uh, we we'll all want to do it. At least we need to get those. Uh, the other one, um, equipment. I'd like to talk about the one. The other one I'd like to post is get a maintenance guy in here. We're so far behind. There's so much stuff sitting around. A uh, township building equipment maintenance and repair person. Part time position. Um, I think we need to have a part time repair man also in there. Um, we have part time guys now, but we don't have anybody that fixes anything. And the road super don't have time. If he's going to be like, looks like Jim said, you know, doing road repairs and, and going forward, I think we need to hire a part time guy that's mechanically inclined to fix things. And, uh, that that blazer's here needs a great job, emission problem, there's, there's just different hydraulic issues, there's things that need to be done. There's, so we need to post a job for that. I agree. What is the starting salary for that? <coughs> we haven't, um, let's, let's leave that one to be open. Uh, okay. We'll leave that word, word, word the way the road super was and that the job, the board of trustees will make the decision up. Okay. Sounds we'll good. that one. This is seasonal? No. no, no, just part time. So that's there's that, that job. So that's the only ones we're going to post for now. We, we, as time goes on, we'll talk about the other ones. Um, we still have um, a road one, a road two, a road three, and a road seasonal to get the job descriptions done on. Um, so I, I suggest that we go ahead and um, um, take the opportunity and read more into those. And then address those at the next meeting. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, yes, I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. Yes, okay. yes. All right. Um, I don't have a resolution written to adopt that. Can we do that with the motion? Just uh, I know we, we, we adopt the job description through a motion. Through a motion, I don't have a resolution. I mean, if you die, you guys have already got this worked out. Um, what? My input's not. Well, I'm talking, we're not going to vote now, but we don't have to vote. I'm not voting now, I'm not voting now, I'm not voting now, I'm saying that. I'm saying we can do a resolution by yay or nay. I mean, I yeah, it's a motion. Motion to vote the, the right. uh, job description okay. to be yeah. discussed. Okay. Um, we have time to. The other thing I'd like to talk about is we've had, and I got a phone call from the man myself, there's a Larry Minifield who was a uh, Jefferson Township police officer. Um, I don't have the paperwork in front of me for quite a few years. And um, he's asking for, always asking for, for some reason or another, uh, a piece of paper that says that um, his stop and start date, how long he worked here. Has anybody else talked to the man? Yeah, I have. Call, we call, we call, we talk to you, Jim? We've been dealing with him. this issue since last year. Yeah, he's, 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 I've talked to him. All the information I gave to you guys a while back. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so. The reason why he needs a new letter is because it was, it was for what he's applying for. Yes, the letter it, was. it was too old and he needed to update a letter. I remember um, Trustee McGuire saying that he wasn't comfortable. Because he didn't know about I think it was one of your packet here, Jim, in the back of the very. Yeah, the letters in Yeah, the letters in the packet. Yeah. You don't saw all that today. Yeah. So that's all it is, is that he was verified um, his employment date. So that's all he wants. So 
I, I, well, I maybe the other meeting will make a motion. To, we'll make a meeting. We'll make a motion that. Yes, yeah. I mean we pray for firefighters and police officers yeah. at the, every meeting, and then we need to go ahead and get this taken care of. Thank you. Um, those stuff we can talk about during the meeting. Uh, motion to adjourn the uh, work session. A second. Just a second. Uh, roll call vote for adjournment, please, Tracy. Uh, Trustee McGuire. Yes. Trustee Back. Uh, yes. Trustee McLaughlin. Yes, and we adjourn from the work session at uh, 6.55. Yes, sir. I asked Mrs. Back, and, and you also don't run too quick. I'm putting the sign up. The man on the street asked for the other sign, so I can do that. Okay. What sign is this? Um, Liberty. What sign is Tracy? I'm sorry. What, what sign is that I put up? Mrs. Back, 